time beat where were you before? I was at Aniston training, I was in the Eastern Premier League. Yeah. Uh, before that, I spent a bit in Miami and also just came back down and enjoyed my football again. Came back home, just really enjoyed it. Started scoring a few goals and glad I got my move here. How did uh, Colin Kenby come about? I was actually, I spoke to somebody after the Broxburn game. I played a game against Broxburn and as a man it recommended me to come basically put my name forward for it. and. Gladly I came in and trained, and I played quite well my first two games. And I'm glad that Jim Nichols said he wanted to come along. So, as a first as a move, I was always got to join it. I've got to jump right at it. Delighted, delighted to be back in full time. That's it. That's anything I was looking for, anything to come make a step back up. But I'm glad to be a team like Cowden Beef. A lot of my friends are here, and just obviously want to keep us up, score a few goals, and hopefully kick on for there. Just happy to be here, but I'm just delighted to be here. To be fair. Uh, what's the dressing room like for you, what your teammates are like? Brilliant, good ability banter, got a bit of hard time about my weight, that's about it, but apart from that, ah, it's all good, good, good bunch of lads, so hopefully hopefully pick up a few points tonight, starting against Partick and we'll see what happens there. Were there any like, the lads that you knew from before? Sorry, what was that? Was there any like, guys from the team that you knew before? I knew Scott Linton and things like that, and I knew um, John Robertson for his time at Hearts, a young boy. I knew, if, I just knew, if, knew if you play against like guys all the way through, you just know them for that anyway, but I knew a lot of them, I know most of them, which is kind of happy, like Joe Mabu, things like that, Chopper, John Armstrong, obviously, and just basically knew them all for them. It's just, you can pick your names up over the years anyway, you play against them enough, so it's basically that. Um, Jimmy Nicol, what's he like as a manager? Probably, it's probably the best manager I've ever worked under, to be fair, between him and Billy Reid, but I actually I'm really delighted to work under Jimmy, well, everyone knows who he is. I know who he is, so to be fair, I'm delighted to be here. That's basically, I can't express how much I'm delighted to be here, to be fair. Hopefully, I just need to be running the team. But to work up under Sunday, Jimmy, and obviously Mickey, I'm a big Hearts fan as a boy. Grew up going to see Mickey, and honestly, just delighted to take anything from him. Any advice I'll get, I'll take it on board. Um, personally, uh, short term, long term, what are you looking to achieve for the club? At the club, I'd obviously want to keep them in the first division for a start, then also kick on for there, score a few goals. And who knows from there? But I'm delighted to be here, as I say. So I can't really complain. It's one. I want to score goals, help the team stay up. I'm not be too though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the rest of the season, um, obviously to, uh, to stay in the division. Uh, how hopeful, how confident are you about doing I'm that? I'm very. I think we've got a strong enough team. I don't know why. I've, I always say if the results are at the moment aren't going the right way. We just need a bit of luck to change that. But as a group of a great group of boys who have got a lot of ability, don't think we'll. Can't see why not, we can't stay up. We've got two teams below us, a couple of games in hand. We're obviously there by merit. We knew it was going to be a struggle for the start. Obviously, we just jumped up for the second division. It's always going to be a struggle. But hopefully now, get a pick up a three points tonight and kick on for there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, a bit of luck and we'll change that. Okay, that's it. Perfect, thanks very much. Enjoy the game, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.